Hello my cuties, it's your local Mandarin and today is a very special day because today is our two year anniversary! Yay! I feel like I should clarify I mean mine and Yasu's two year anniversary, not like you and me. Because you and me, we're eternity. Anyway, um, today I'm actually not uploading the video that I was supposed to upload today because something terrible has happened in my life. I was filming a video where I was making Valentine's Day chocolates with Luna and Miley and when I went to edit those clips I found that my camera had accidentally been put into manual focus instead of automatic so the entire video was blurry. I can't say that was my proudest moment, I can't say that was my brightest moment. I feel really bummed out, like if it was just me I would just kind of be like, nah, oh well you know. But because Miley and Luna were in it I just feel so bad for them too, they were all so understanding, everyone was so nice about it but I do feel really bad because this is not even like the first time I've messed up a video that I was doing at work. Actually, I do want to apologize to you guys as well because the main reason I even filmed that is because I got requests to do another Valentine's Day chocolate video and I was like, oh, I didn't know people liked those. I will absolutely do that for you. It didn't work out. But hey, I did get a TikTok out of it, so. So here's the thing. Mine and Yasu's anniversary falls on the 9th. Then Valentine's Day is the 14th. Then Yasu's birthday is the 16th. That's too much celebrating for me. I think last year we did celebrate all three, but the thing is, I'm so insanely busy this year for a project that you will soon find out about that I just like, I can't. So on Valentine's Day, I'm going to the dentist. My wisdom tooth is coming out weird. I know, so romantic, but today we are having this date and then on the 16th, Yasuo and I are having some fancy Wagyu for his birthday. So it's kind of like, I mean like, you know. But yeah, so because it's our anniversary, I figured I would take you guys along for this year's Valentine's themed video. So what are we doing for our little date today? First of all, we're going to this hotel called Hotel Gajoen, I believe. I actually just saw someone post about it on Twitter. The afternoon tea there looks really cute and really nice. The issue is you can't reserve at that place, which is really annoying for me because I get so anxious if I'm like planning on going somewhere, especially when it's not like in an area that has other things. It is a random Wednesday, to be fair. And then we're gonna go to Ueno. There's one main reason why we're going to Ueno. So last week, yes, and I went to Ueno, and we went to this nabe, like hot pot restaurant that specializes in mushrooms. And they came up with like, 12 different kinds of mushrooms or something. It was insane. And I've been thinking about it non-stop since. I love mushrooms. I actually, I get it when people say they don't like mushrooms. It has like a weird texture, it's a really weird flavor, but I love that funkiness it has. So even when we make nabe at home, we always put so many mushrooms because that's like the main thing I end up eating. I don't even care about the meat. I don't care about anything. I care about the mushrooms. So yes, for dinner we'll be having that for sure. Very excited about that. And also in Uena, they're currently doing an exhibition in one of the museums for Pompeii, which is not the most romantic thing. I will agree, but I really like museums, especially when it comes to like history and stuff. But yeah, that's our day today. Afternoon tea, museum, we're in a park, nabe. But first, I'd like to thank Sakurako for sponsoring today's video. If you don't already know what Sakurako is, it's basically a Japanese snack subscription box. In particular, with a the theme of traditional, authentic, artisan Japanese snacks. Each month you get a box full of Japanese snacks, teas, and kitchenware, all full of Japanese culture. Japan is a culture that loves all the seasons, and each box is actually specifically designed for that month. So, what is this month's subscription box? With it being the box for March, the theme is Sakura Afternoon Tea. Which to me personally is like my favorite of all Japanese seasonal themes. Whoever is fucking up and beep 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 beep, I want you to stop immediately. <laughs> it's wonderful because no matter where you are in the world, you are able to, in your home, enjoy Japanese tea time and traditional snacks and just kind of enjoy that little bit of Japanese culture in your daily life. What I love about Sagaruko in particular is that they actually support local snack makers. So it actually comes with like a little booklet and in the booklet it tells you like a bunch of different information about the snacks in your box in particular, which I just think is so interesting. I love little things like that. The booklet is actually really good as well because it tells you if it's vegetarian friendly, it tells you if there's any allergens in it, and basically just tells you what is inside the snacks. So I really like it for that. With the box this week, this is one that I really, really enjoyed. It's this sweet called Manju, which I actually normally don't really like because it's a little bit too dense for me. But I was re-watching Oran High School Host Club for the thousandth time, and I bit into one of the Sakura Manju that came with this box. And that was it for me. It came with three different ones and I was like, I'm gonna save one so that I can taste it on camera. And then I just couldn't stop myself. Yes, you just came to me with a little treat. What could this be? Ooh. He brought me the Sakura sweet bread. Let me try it. I'm actually kind of hungry right now, so this is perfect. It's like pink throughout. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Mmm. Leave! Get out! Get out! 
This is so yummy. It's like sweet bread, but it has a very light floral flavor. It's definitely not overpowering, but this with tea for like a light breakfast mwah, would be amazing. But also it came with like a little sakura cup, which I thought was so cute and Teddy really enjoyed for some reason. So to enjoy a Hanami picnic in the comfort of your own home, check out the link in the description and use the code MIGAM for $5 off your order. Thank you so much again to Sakurako for sponsoring my channel. Let's get on with the rest of the video. So we're currently walking to the hotel and I was like, oh, I've been here before because I recognized the road. And then I realized this is where the Parasite Museum is. And I know Yasu remembers I went to the Parasite Museum because I thought I had tapeworms for like three months. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. it. Made me so paranoid. I kept like googling tapeworm symptoms. I was just really convinced that I had a tapeworm. When you see something, yeah, on the internet, you, you you'll just you just say, oh, maybe I have this. I have, I'm have like that. so scared that I have. <laughs> but like, oh, parasites are the the worst. My biggest fear ever. Anyway, we're here at the hotel. Let's stop talking about parasites. <laughs> The garden in this hotel is so fancy. It's too fancy for Yasu. Yeah, Yasu's like I don't, I don't like too uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> They've got all this like art here as well. It's very nice. This hotel is so big and so fancy. Yasu yeah, is like so out of his element. Do you remember last year we went to like a fancy like course meal and we were both so uncomfortable because we're not used oh, to going yeah, to fancy yeah. places. And, so and, we kept and, trying to like be. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that's what it was. We kept being like, be fancy, yeah, to be fancy. <laughs> Okay, so we arrived and luckily it's very empty so we didn't have to worry about reservations or anything at all the one i want to eat is this strawberry afternoon tea set it looks very cute i feel like this place actually feels less tense than the place we went to last year because last place i think it was just really really quiet and we were the only ones there yeah at least true. here there's like other people chatting and there's like a garden behind us it's so, true, it's true. they have so many different teas and yaski saying their burgers are too fancy what does that mean <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's it. You can get free flowing tea and coffee for another 1,100 yen, which is a pretty good deal because I really like tea and they have so many different teas here. Yeah, I want to, like, you can just try it. Yeah, try different ones. Let's There's do that. 12 of them. 12 so. different ones. That's yeah. amazing. We got to choose the cake on top, and this guy chooses the cake that he knows that I want to try. <laughs> But I like that we always do that. I always choose the one I want and then you choose the one I want and yeah. then I get well, to try both. Because I can eat anything. Thank you. I wonder if we're allowed to go out into the garden. It looks like we can. I really want to. Our drinks came. I just got an Algo to start with. I love it when they foam the milk. It feels so fancy when they do that. Okay, so I'm gonna try some of this tea now. Mm. Wow. This is like really good algae. It's like very fragrant, more fragrant than usual algae, I would say. The oh. bergamot flavor is quite strong. Yes, is trying some of my tea as well. You need to go there. Yeah, it smells really different, right, from usual algae. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, really strong bergamot <coughs> flavor, right? Yeah, like refreshing. Yeah, it's really good. It came! It looks amazing, but they couldn't fit both of us on one table, so Yasu's is on our table, and then my one is on the other table. It's fine. So excited. We're both really hungry. There's like jellies, there's sandwiches, there's cakes, there's scones. Looks amazing. Okay, we managed to get both of them on the table. Let's enjoy! First, we're eating the sandwiches. This one has like tamago egg. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Egg salad. Tamago egg. Because <laughs> you said tamago, and then I that was the word that was in my head. Anyway. I usually don't really like egg, but for some reason the egg salad sandwiches in Japan are fine, so I don't really get what that's all about. Yes, you got the, what was it called? Butterfly PT? Elderflower. No, it's like an elderflower butterfly PT. Try putting the lemon in, try putting the lemon in. See what happens. You're about to experience some magic. Oh. You see? Oh, that's so good. It reacts to the acidity. I like it. Magic. I'm gonna try one of these tiny little macarons. Look, it's so little. Ah. Caramel? Burnt caramel. Very yummy. Very sweet. It's good, right? It's like in your mouth. Yeah, it's like exploding. <laughs> exploding. But it's definitely caramel, right? Yeah, yeah. like dark. Yeah, like burnt caramel. Right, yeah. I'm really full, but there's still so much left. I really don't want to leave any of it, especially not the cake. You know it's bad when even Yasu's full. Yeah. We were saying we maybe should have just gotten one. Maybe that would have been enough for the two of us. Oh, uh, we didn't know. 
Yeah, well, oh well. I'm thinking about it now, and usually when I get afternoon tea with friends, we do get one and share it, but this one just looked really small, right? Yeah, it did. I tell you, so like, it's kind of sickening because I feel really full, but if I think about the mushroom nabo we're gonna have later, I get hungry. And he goes, yeah, and I thought he was agreeing with me, so I was like nodding along, he goes, it is sickening. <laughs> This sickening. We're already full, and you're thinking about it. Just like, how how can you think about that? Because the flavor is so different. I have a separate stomach for mushroom nubbin. What the fuck? There's like three of it now. Yeah, three stomachs. Normal food, desserts, kinoko nabe. This is just kinoko, only kinoko. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is Yasuki's reaction to me. Just randomly bursting out. When we have a child, we should name her Kinoko. <laughs> I dropped some jelly on my lap. <laughs> and at the start, we were contemplating putting these on our laps, but I didn't feel like it. Because every time I do put them on, it just slips off my lap. But look, he's taunting me. He's judging me and ta <laughs> Yeah, I mean, maybe then I wouldn't have jelly on my lap. <laughs> this is against my own will. Time to just enjoy the cakes. They look so yummy. They remind me of like anime cakes. You know, in like when there's like a cafe in an anime and they make the food look really like shiny and sparkling and like perfect. Yeah. It looks like that. It does, it does. It's going for it. It looks like it's ham. It does not look like ham. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Strawberry. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind some strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, do I get the strawberry? Yatta! Don't give it to the camera, you freak. This isn't like ASMR pretending to be your boyfriend. <laughs> Time for me to try this one. Ooh. Put jelly on top? Yeah. Oh. Mm. What is it? The custard's really rich, really yummy. <laughs> I think strawberries and custard is like an unmatched perfect pair. Except I guess for mushrooms and nabe, those two. God. My gosh, even the bathroom's fancy. Look at this. Wait, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. So from the front, it just looks like I'm wearing a regular outfit. But then you look at the back. Do you see that? I had to tie it. Okay, time for us to go and enjoy the little garden. I'm so excited. It's a lot louder out here, obviously because of the waterfalls, but it's so nice. We're gonna go up these stairs now. I wonder where it takes us. Ooh, we get to see. <laughs> Stop. We get to see through the waterfall. And then it takes us back. I'm really bad at walking on these, so this <laughs> is guiding me. <laughs> well, that was really lovely. I actually really do recommend this place. It wasn't too expensive for what it was. I feel like the whole experience made it really yeah, worth the price, really good, yeah. right? So yeah, if you're looking for afternoon tea in Japan, why not check out that place? Now we're gonna go to the museum, which oh, I'm yeah. very excited about. <laughs> This here is the exhibit we came to see, Pompeii at the Tokyo National Museum. It seems like it's there all the way until April, so maybe go check it out. But if you close your eyes, does it always be? <laughs> so inside Japanese museums, you can't actually film or take pictures at all for the most part, but you can take a picture of like the outside and the outside of this museum is so nice. I love this general area. I feel like it's definitely worth just checking out this general area, you know? Yeah, it's really good. Right? I love it. Oh, nice nice little water display. Love it. back out. I actually thought that was really really interesting. It was really interesting to see like all the things that the people use in their day-to-day -day lives. That's usually what I'm most interested in, like what life was like 
back in those times and like for those particular people and it's really rare to get the chance to see something like this in japan yeah. and obviously we can't just go to italy right now <laughs> so i'm really glad we got the chance to see that i do recommend it if you happen to be in the area also interestingly you could take pictures at that exhibition but they said it's for personal use only and i feel like this is like oh yeah like no not really yeah, yeah yeah so unfortunately you will just have to come and see it for yourself i'm hungry but you're not hungry so let's walk around the park a little bit and then go get food okay. once you start to get a little bit hungry at the restaurant i'm so excited also look at this oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got toothpicks in it and it's a little mushroom how cute i'm so excited i've been wanting this ever since we got it last week like every single day i've been thinking about this it's really good right really, really good. i feel like cola in a glass bottle is like a thousand times more delicious than the one in a plastic bottle and you got ginger ale in a i love it in the glass it just makes it yummy now that is well thought out. That is engineering. That is the engineering of tomorrow. They have like a self-service sauce counter, which I really like. Here are all the mushrooms. Can you see? It's so exciting. There are so many that I've never even tried before. And here is the soup with some mushrooms that we got for free, like just on the side. And here is some extra like leaves and stuff and some tofu. As far as sauce, I did their recommended garlic and sesame oil and salt, which I tried before and it was really yummy. Yasu just got like a bunch of random ones. Yeah, I don't know what is this. <laughs> Try I'm it. Gonna eat it. Ooh, is it good? Mm. Ooh. What does it taste like? I don't know, but it's spicy. Oh, it's spicy. Mm. And then we got some thinly sliced meat. Do you want to put some meat in? I know where that was going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just put a bunch of stuff in. Let's put a bunch of mushrooms in as well. Try this one. Yeah, just throw a big one. bunch of them in. Yeah. Yeah, just put the whole thing, it's fine. Yes. It's gonna be so yummy. <laughs> Just go crazy. Yes, boil, baby, boil. Okay, I'm gonna eat one of these mushrooms. Which one should I go for? I'm gonna go for the pink one because I really liked this one last time. Oh, really? Yeah, I really like this one. Mm. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. Oops. Mm. Good. <laughs> I love the texture of mushrooms. I know it's one of the things that people who don't like mushrooms don't like, but to me it's like so good. And I love the umami of the soup. With the garlic and the sesame, it's just perfect. I could come here like all the time. I feel like this is gonna be like my new favorite place because it's so good. Man, I'm so full. We're both so full, but we keep just sipping the soup because the soup is so good here. We've literally drunk half the soup. This is not how you're supposed to eat now, babe. <laughs> it's just so good. so good. We ate too much, and now we've been just kind of sitting here for like 20 minutes waiting for it to digest because <sighs> that was a lot of food. Okay, we managed to muster up the energy to head back home. So I think that's where I'm gonna go ahead and finish this vlog. Thank you guys ever so much for joining us on our second anniversary. Yeah. Two years, baby. Two years. <laughs> Did you enjoy the day? Oh yeah, definitely. Right, it was a really nice way really to spend good. the day, yeah. yeah. So yeah, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your Valentine's Day as well. Leave your comments down below. I wanna hear all of your thoughts. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you, bye.